We have had a request to cover formants or formant regions. First look at a spectrogram where we have white noise. White noise is broadband noise. All the frequencies are present. The frequencies are plotted here along the vertical and this is your time. And this sounds like Now if we take an instrument like the guitar, it has a cavity, it has wood, it has structure that will emphasize certain harmonics and frequencies when played because of resonance. And one way to find these regions is to gently blow the white noise into the guitar and see what comes out. You'll have a spectrogram of white noise but with certain frequencies emphasized and these bands that are emphasized frequencies, these are your formants or your formant regions. So that's an experimental way to find where are the regions that get emphasized. What makes a Stradivarius violin a Stradivarius is that certain formant regions exist there so that when you play the violin, these formant regions are in desirable places to enhance certain harmonics to give the most pleasant sound for a violin. Let's look at the complicated vocal system here. When we talk, we have nasal cavity, we have the mouth cavity, and here we have a simple model of the vocal folds closing one end that vibrate here, and the open end is the mouth. Now the simple closed pipe physics model that we did in class, we take this distance to be roughly 15 centimeters for your teacher, and if you take the wavelength formula for a closed pipe, wavelength is 4L, you get 60 centimeters. And when you work out the math, which we won't do here, we're going to emphasize the formants instead in this tutorial, you get a fundamental of 500 hertz. Since it's a closed pipe, the next resonance would occur 1500, triple that, and then five times that. So these would be the resonant frequencies or the formant regions for my voice given the simple model, but I can change my mouth cavity size as I speak and say different vowel sounds. For example, here is an E, eh, here is an A, which has a lower formant region as I change my mouth structure. And this is E, way down in here. So the fundamental would be the lowest bar here, horizontal bar that would be the fundamental frequency and then you would have your second harmonic your third see one two three and then four five and six these harmonics are emphasized because of the formant region the shape of my mouth and the way the nasal cavity everything is working at that moment gives me these two formant regions uh, the formant regions here get spread out when i do the a instead of the e eh sound and if i do the e this formant region here the first one is even lower and this one's even higher, and there's a third one present. So if we go to the internet here and just search for spectrograms, we can find, let's say something like this, and the dark regions here would be your formant regions for the various uh, frequencies that are enhanced.